Hi, welcome to another video. So, Mitral dropped another magnet link on their Twitter, which turned out to be none other than their new model, Pixtral. Pixtral is a new model by Mistral, and this time it's a multimodal model, which means it can now process images, which is really cool. This new model is based on the Mistral Nemo 12B model, which was already very good, but now it has multimodal capabilities as well. So, that's great to see. Also, Mistral hasn't shared any proper benchmarks for it on Hugging Face or in any blog posts. But they did show it at an event, and people have shared images of it on Twitter. So, let's take a look over here. First of all, this image shows that it's a 128K context model, just like Nemo, which is good. It also has an Apache 2.0 license, which is great as well. Apart from that, the benchmarks they shared are, once again, quite controversial. They have lowered the numbers of Quen 2 Vision's benchmark to make their model seem superior. Some people pointed that out and edited the benchmarks for accurate data. This has been an ongoing thing with Mitral, because, if you remember, I also raised this issue with the Mitral large benchmarks, where they had lowered Claude 3.5 Sonnet benchmark scores to show they were ahead. So, that's definitely been a problem with Mitral. But, generally, it's almost similar in benchmarks to Quen 2 VL, which isn't bad. But these cheap marketing tactics are not good. In benchmarks that are other than the vision benchmarks like Human Evil, it shows almost a similar result to Nemo. So, there's not much difference in simple stuff. But generally, Quen 2 VL is better across the board, at least in vision stuff. So, that's good. Anyway, those are the major things about it. Now, this model has a different kind of architecture, so it isn't available on Olama, and it's not even available on their platform to try out. So, I had to host it locally using the instructions Mitral provided. I just ran this VLLM command, it downloaded the model, and started it with an open AI compatible endpoint. I'll be using it with open web UI. Now let's get started with the testing. I'll be testing it with these seven questions, which I also use to test Quen 2. So let's get started with these questions. The first question is going to be about this image. This is the flow chart of a program where the system creates a random number and asks the user to guess a number. If the user's input and the random number match, the user wins. Otherwise, they lose. So, let's give it this and ask it to convert the flowchart into a Python program. Let's send it over, and it's generating the answer now. Let's wait a bit. And here's the final response. Here's the code as well. Let's run it here and see. It asks for an input, and it works well. So, I'll give it a pass. The next question is about this image. I'll be asking how many calories are in five slices of this, and the answer should be 100. Let's send it and see. It's generating the response, and here's the answer. As you can see, this is correct, so we'll keep this a pass as well. Next, let's move on to this image of a table. I want this to be converted into a CSV table. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this CSV table looks very good and pretty accurate. So, I'll keep this a pass as well. Now, the next one is a screenshot of the chat GPT interface. I want it to be converted into a similar looking HTML, CSS, and JS based interface. Let's send it and see if it can do this. Now, we have the code. Let's preview it and check. Here's the preview, and it looks pretty good. It's not an exact replica, but I think it looks great. So, let's keep this a pass as well. The next question is about this image. This is a kitchen cupboard with a lot of stuff. I'm going to ask if this cupboard has ground allspice, which it does. Let's send it 
and see if it can do this? Here's the answer. It answered this quite well and correctly, but it says it's in the middle, which it isn't. But I think that's okay. So let's keep this a pass. Now the next question is about this image of a dog running, which has some motion blur. Let's see if it can describe this image or not. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. It identifies that this is a dog and explains why it's blurry and has motion blur, which is really cool. The final question is about this image. It's a simple meme, and I want it to explain the joke. Let's send it and see if it understands humor or not. Okay, here's the answer. And as you can see, it doesn't understand the image. It thinks they're taking photographs and cannot explain the humor. So, this one's a fail. Now, here's the final chart. I think this is good because Mitral Nemo was already really strong with simple tasks, and now it has vision capabilities. But, if you're thinking of using the model solely for vision tasks, I'd recommend using the Quen model instead because it's 7B, smaller than the 12B model that this is. Plus, it performs better in vision tasks based on my testing because it passed all the questions, while Nemo is a bit better in simple language tasks. So, that might be something in its favor. Also, this Pixdraw doesn't support videos, but Quen supports that. So, that's one thing to consider as well. But overall, it's a good model. I just hope Mistral stops using these benchmark tactics. I also hope that Olama and Llama CPP authors add support for this new model soon, because even Quen2 VL support hasn't been added yet. So, that's something to look forward to. Recently, Olama added support for Mini CPM after a long wait, so that's really cool as well if you guys want to use that model. But, I hope these models are also added soon as well. I think both Quen2 VL and this new Pixtral model are great vision models, and finally open source is catching up in the vision area. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.